times are tap tap and what have I gotten myself into? Let's play Cat Presidents, a more perfect union. This is a visual novel with c cats running for president. I figured this would be either extremely stupid or fairly funny or possibly both. Uh, I never dreamed I would get involved in politics. I mean, I'm just a plain Jane, a nobody. I never even voted before. But somehow, I found myself swarmed with presidential candidates, and they all want me to be their campaign manager. Which one should I choose? They're all such good options. I can't pick which one. Oh, but I should back up first and explain how I got into this situation. Record scratch. It all started last week, when I heard someone calling my name at the park. Um, what's my name again? Please input the perfect name for our heroine. Um... Tap Tap. Ina. It's a, that's a wonderfully girly girl's name for girls. Do, 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 do. Tap Ina, Tap Ina. <laughs> They're all gonna have that ellipsis now. You, you have to pronounce the ellipsis, you see. Tap Ina. Is that me? That's my best friend Lizzie. Okay, that's, that's my best friend Lizzie. Yes, it, it's this is one of those visual novels with actual pictures. Um, I think one of the, like the advertising features, like pictures of actual cats. Oh yeah, a review copy of this game was provided by the developer. I'm I'm, I'm a little iffy on on the prospect, but you know, it's a stupid game with cats. So I mean, it's it's worth a shot, right? Did you hear they're having a big debate tonight? I got us tickets. Do you buy tickets to a debate? I don't know how these work. I've, I've only ever been- I went to a caucus once. I had to register for the party of the caucus, but that was, like, we didn't have to pay or anything. A debate? About what? Gosh, don't you know? The presidential debate! Oh, is President Daisy Doodle coming to town? That's so cool! I like her! What's she gonna debate? No, actually, the debate is for the presidential candidates who are running to replace Daisy Doodle. Which she leaves office next year? All six of them are in town, they're gonna debate some important issues, like policy and cat. <laughs> Boss, they're all adorable! I want to hug and pet each one of them. Alright, I probably should have said something about this earlier. Twenty years ago, the government got so corrupt the Supreme Court decided to ban all humans from politics. Reasonable! And now the only politicians we have are cats. This is the most sensible visual novel I've ever played already. I know it sounds crazy, but the government is a lot more effective this way. <laughs> tap tap. You know. <laughs> so good. I don't know, I think I'll stay at home. No way, you have to come. If you don't, I'll never forgive you. Tutorial. In this game, you'll occasionally cat chat that in its responses. Choose carefully. The options will affect what ending you get. The better options you choose, the better the ending. Um, I love cats! I can't wait to see them! Me neither. This will be so much fun! See, th this, this is how you run, you know, a presidential thing. Not between, you know, asshole that everybody hates and other asshole that everybody hates. And then, you know, fringe candidate that pretty much everyone hates. And then another fringe candidate pretty much everyone hates. This has got to be, this, is, this has to set a record for, you know, the least popular set of candidates we've ever had. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about that. I want to talk about cats! So we got here about an hour early. There was nothing going to happen for a while, so I decided to explore a bit. See if I can find a bathroom. It wasn't long before I got lost. Ah, this place is like a maze. How are you supposed to figure out where to go? They need signs or something. After wandering around for a few minutes, I found a fancy-looking door. Always go in the fancy-looking doors, because you know the best loot is in there. I stepped inside, but no one was there. At least they got cool frosted glass in here. We don't have any cool conference rooms like this where I work. Empty. I guess I'll try another room. I beg your pardon? Ah! I don't like this one. Aw, it's a cat. Did you lose your honor, little guy? I've never been so insulted in my life. You think I'm a common street cat? How dare you talk to me like that? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were a talking cat. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. I should have security throw you out immediately. Aw, oh, don't be so mean. A cute girl comes wandering in. You want to have her kicked out? That's not what I would do. Look at his face. He's all smug. I like the smug one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Freaking outlines around her whiskers. Yeah, I like her style. My style? Well, yeah, you snuck all the way backstage to meet with us. That's pretty brave of you. You have guts. I like you. Wait, if I'm backstage, that means... Oh my gosh, you three are the presidential candidates. Bingo, I'm... Wait. Bingo, I'm Frisky. And that, may I say, it's a pleasure to meet a beautiful woman like yourself. 
I'm DJ Nibbles, the young, cute candidate. More like the empty-headed kitten who rushes, keeps rushing into danger. I can't help it if somebody gets into trouble. I'm naturally curious. Naturally stupid, you mean? That grumpy guy over there is Thunderpaw. He always seemed to be upset or so over something. Not true. I'll be happy when you lose it and drop out of the race. <laughs> I'm not going to drop out. I'm in it to win it. So, darling, you didn't tell us your name. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. My name is Tap Tap. Ina. Well, Tap Tap. Ina. Oh my gosh, just wink. Why don't you come with me for a little while? I guarantee you'll enjoy it. You want to be alone with me? Parker. You're interrupting my cat game. Are you going to run for President Parker? I think I know some people would vote for you. So I can lead you back to the audience area, of course. Hey, Frisky. Don't keep the guest all to yourself. Let me help guide her back to your seat. Have you two forgotten that the debate starts in 45 minutes? We don't have time to be escorting random humans all over the place. I'll call security and they'll have you removed from the premises. Um, no, it's okay. I think I can find the way myself. Are you sure? I wouldn't mind helping you. I'm sure. You all focus on debate stuff. Bye! Goodbye, Tap Tap! Ina! Nice meeting you. Count how many times I forget what voice a cat is supposed to be. It's gonna happen a lot. I got out of the room as quickly as I could. I couldn't believe it. I accidentally interrupted three of the presidential candidates. What kind of a goofball does a thing like that? I decided to get back to my seat as quickly as possible and end up running into more cats. Ah, okay. Uh oh. These are giant cats. Look at this. Hey, humans aren't allowed back here. I'm so sorry, I got lost. I didn't know how to get to my seat. I understand. These hallways can be pretty confusing sometimes. Yeah, the first time I see you was chasing my tail for hours. So you're not mad at me for being in the off-limits area? No, we're not mad. These sort of things happen. The door you're looking for is the third one on the right. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Tap Tap Ina, by the way. Who are you? I'm Elvis Tiberius Kale the Third, but you can call me Kale. Kevin on the left noticed his, nodded his head as he said this. Nice to meet you, Kale. Are you also running for president? I certainly am. Although most people say I should drop out, because I'm last in the polls. Sigh. Aw. Cheer up, Kale. At least you made it all the way to the debates. I'm Dr. Nomnoffs. I'm not polling very well at the moment. If it wasn't for the Calicos, I'd probably be out of the running. But you both seem like very nice cats. May the debate boost your popularity. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm lucky to be here tonight. I'm just hoping to debate the issues and do my best for all the alley cats out there. Thank you both very much for helping me. If I could vote for both of you, I would. It's very kind of you to say. Please enjoy the debate tonight. So those seem like the nicer ones. I followed the directions and made it back to my seat alright. Phew, finally made it. Milk! I, I love this awful clip art. That's exactly what you'd see at a presidential debate. Tap tap! Ina! Where are you? You'd never believe me if I told you. You'll have to tell me later. The show's about to start. At that moment, the moderator came on stage and explained the debate rules to the audience. The rules are pretty simple. Clap whenever there's a response you like, but no interrupting the debaters, and no cat calls. The debate itself was pretty interesting. Thunderpaw was an intense debater. He yelled at all the other can candidates and constantly insulted them. I think we all know who Thunderpaw is supposed to be. If his goal looked stronger than his opponents, he succeeded. Frisky didn't try to appeal to all voters. Instead, he focused his attention on just one group, women. <laughs> he wouldn't stop talking about how much he loved women. Didn't think it was very professional, but my friend Lizzie liked it. DJ Nibbles was energetic as ever, which ended up hurting his debate style. He rushed into his answers with such enthusiasm that he tripped over his own words, and twice he lost his place during speeches. It me! Still, it's nice to such refreshing honesty in, in a debate. Dr. Nom Noms did not do very well. He flubbed most of his answers. And he went on a long tangent about bird bathies <laughs> last year. It's almost like he was trying to fail. Kale did okay, I guess. He was a solid speaker, but definitely overshadowed by the other personalities in the room. I can see why he's last in the polls. Rude. The final debater, Rover, there was something different about him. I don't know what it seemed. He seemed, I don't know, really different from the other cats. Get that dog out of here. Let me throw rocks at the dog. At the end of the debate, the moderator called for silence. Oh my gosh, it's a badly photoshopped cat on the thing. A human-sized cat, no less. Can you can you see that? 
Oh crap, I forget if I'm capturing my cursor. But like, on the podium, that, 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 that that's a cat. We've all heard the candidates' responses, but now we want to hear the question to, from a real person. An average citizen, not a politician. So I picked a randomly selected audience member, obviously me, to give the final question of the debate. And that person is... Tap Tap! Ina? What? Me? Come on, t oh, Tap Tap. Ina. Tell everyone your question. Well, um... Okay. I don't know a lot about politics, but I do know that politics are supposed to, politicians are supposed to help people. So I guess I want to know how all of you help me. I mean, I lost my job at the grocery store last week. I'm still having trouble finding a new one. If I don't get a job soon, I might lose my apartment. I know my personal problems don't matter much in the political world, but what would you do as president? To help people like me. People that get randomly selected to answer things. That is a very good question. Wait. I don't know. I, I, I really, really need to narrow down the candidates because I can't remember all these voices. That is a very good qu- You know what? His name is Green, so I'm just gonna do a Kermit voice. That's a very good question! All these- All these questions are answered to near tonight have been good, especially the question of societal inequality between cats and humans. Gale, you're a salad-headed moron. This isn't a question of social inequality. Yeah, besides the real social inequality is between cats and dogs. Someone get the dog out of here. I have a suggestion. It can work for me, tap tap. Ina. What? You need a job. Now you need a new campaign manager. I'll hire you. That will help your problem, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna hire you too. No way! You wanna work on the DJ Nibbles campaign with me? I'm sure there's room- I'm sure there's room for you in the Kale campaign! You don't want to work for these losers. Work for Thunderpaw. I only hire the best and the brightest. Why- why would you pop up? Excuse me. I have one question to ask. Do you have a dog? No. Then I have my service as well. Come wait for me. No, me. Me. Oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. You all want me to work for you? I hate to interrupt here, but we're running out of time for the debate. If you could please choose the candidate now. Uh, this is how- this is how politics work, my friends. A completely random person gets selected to be the campaign manager for everybody. It's not the best system, but it's the best system we have, damn it. This is how freedom works, my friends. Six great cats, all running for president. They all want me to work for them. How can I pick just one? In the end, I decided to go with... Let's go with DJ Nibbles. <laughs> oh my god! We kinda wish we picked a candidate who had any idea who knew what they were doing. Whatever. I will go with DJ Nibbles. Awesome, the perfect candidate! If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. You can always work for me. And me, I'd love to work with you. Sorry guys. Tap tap it with me now. There's always a space for you on the moderator bench, if you want. I mean, uh concludes the sharp claw debate thank you so much for watching until next time this is the lonely moderator who does not have an attractive assistant working for him good night oh poor moderator hey what about me maybe think better if you didn't spill coffee all over my notes oh yeah you didn't care about these notes anyway i saw you drawing pictures all over them but that was during the commercial breaks you moron what kind of an idiot are wait can people still hear us oops i forgot to turn the microphone off you are fired, you bumbling idiot! I... <laughs> Microphone suddenly went off. I cast a side glance at Lizzie. She looked angry. Hmm. Lizzie, you okay? No, I'm sick of this happening every single time we hang out. Yeah, every time we hang out, I, you know, end up going with a presidential candidate. And, you know, sick of guys falling over themselves to impress you. Yeah, I am the protagonist of a visual novel, so that will happen. I know you're good looking, but can't, why can't guys notice me for once? We've talked about this. I don't have a bunch of guys falling over me all the time. Yeah, right! Six presidential candidates just bent over backwards to get you a job. It's not because of your experience, I can tell you that. Why didn't they offer me a job as a campaign manager? Well, because you didn't ask. This is what you have to do. You have to ask. You know? That's how I got my job. You know, I just asked, and they're like, oh, sure. Here you go. Here's, here's one unit of job. That's how it happens. That's how the real world works, my friends. No, I bet it's because of my earrings. They are pretty big. They're too big and they scare men away. 
Yeah, men can be scared that, you know, they might get their heads stuck in there and just suffocate to death. Like, fish getting in those, um, you know, those can, plastic can holders. Do they even make those anymore? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Um, they're pretty unnecessary, too. Anyway. They're too big and they scare men away. Maybe I should switch to studs. They could give me a super hot presidential boyfriend, boss cat. What? DJ Nibbles isn't my boyfriend. I met him an hour ago. Oh, please. He's totally interested. Just like every other guy you meet. I so am a visual novel protagonist. Well, if DJ Nibbles has a brother, I'll be sure to introduce you to Really? You are the best friend ever. We're just going to ignore that we're talking about cats here. That's, that's fine. It's not creepy. I left Lizzie to her own devices and went to the backstage area. DJ Nibbles was waiting for me inside the green room. This is a white room. I quit. Tap tap, Ina. Good to see ya. Are you ready to help win the presidency? You bet. I'll be glad to be your campaign manager. Great, you know what you're gonna do? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know what a campaign manager does. That's okay, neither do I. <laughs> Wait, can I, are there options? Oh, I can save. Hold on. Um, <laughs> is there? Okay, there are no options, okay? Oh, there's three endings for each person? That's neat. This amazing music. Let's see who's responsible for this. I demand names. I owe a rock studio. So, but Michael Gray. Hey, everybody. Okay. Oh, <laughs> rock studio. That lovely, like, runescape art there. That's that's how you know it's quality. Whatever. There's no options, apparently. Uh, is there a text? Oh. Oh my gosh. This game... It, I guess maybe... Is this a Renpai feature? I don't know if about Renpai to know if I... Uh, to notice a Renpai game, but I can just scroll back and, like, I'm just back there. That's That's pretty great. That's okay, neither do I. I'm just kind of making up things as I go along with this campaign. Really? Yeah, that's a bit of common complaint against me. <laughs> he can't be president. He's too inexperienced. He has no idea what he's doing. On and on like that. Can you believe it? Just because I'm young, that doesn't mean I don't have enough experience. How much experience do you have? I have experience in the Senate. Oh, so you're a senator then? Uh, no. A junior senator? Close. I was an honorary junior senator for a day. That was a fun day. I decided to run for president. <laughs> Good for you! Good for you, it's nice to see young kids following their dreams. Yeah, I may just be a kitten, but I can run for president. I mean, it can't be that hard. Look at some of the other cats that have been president. If they can do it, why can't I? Hmm, you have a point. Besides, we need a fresh face in the sharp claw political field. Not a bunch of old, boring cats like Crusher. Crusher? He's... I guess you could say he's my rival from South Carolina. <laughs> And he's from North Carolina. Crush started out as number one, but his poll numbers have been steadily decreasing ever since. He keeps blaming me for stealing the Catalina motor block. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's the one spray painted my car earlier today. Wrote Nibbles Mispretense constituents and big letters on the hood. The joke's on him, though. That car's a rental. <laughs> That's some high class. Like, I, I can't even imagine writing that in spray paint and having it be legible on a single car. Wow, sounds like I should keep an eye for this guy. Yeah, if you can get him off my back, that'd be great. If you could help me improve my image in the press, that'd be even greater. They keep saying I'm wild and reckless. I can understand why people would think that. No offense, but you seem a little impulsive. If you acted more serious and professional, people would be more inclined to take you as a serious candidate. Aw, oh, but being serious and professional is boring! I prefer running around having fun. Maybe we can use that to your advantage. Although DJ Nibbles, he's young and full of life. Yeah, that sounds great! I knew hiring you was a good idea. You're good looking and smart! Ah, thanks. So what's the plan for the campaign? Well, we're gonna stick around here for a few days before moving to Meow. <laughs> They're having a primary there next week. We want we want to win as many voters as possible. Great. What kind of voters do you want to reach out to? The kind that will vote for me. I mean, let me rephrase that. Do you want to appeal to young voters, old voters, minorities, li majorities, liberals, voters, conservatives? I don't know. That sort of stuff sounds boring. <laughs> I like this guy. Um, why don't you decide for me? <clears throat> The best thing about Backlog is that I press buttons too early, and then I can just scroll back and read it. Uh, that's the sort of thing you need to figure out for yourself. Ah, uh, do I have to? Can I let the poll decide? I know lots of politicians do whatever the polls tell them to. Maybe we could try that! <laughs> is... 
Okay, I'm not trying to be mean here. Do you really want to become president? Because if you win the election, you'll have to deal with this sort of stuff all the time. I will. Can to make it my policy to not deal with war and things? No, you can't. Probably won't help your campaign to say politics is boring. It is. That's why I want to be a politician. I want to change it from being a snooze fest to a play fest. This world needs a change, not the cat to bring it. Seems reasonable for a floating cat. Can't fault him for enthusiasm, but he seems a little underprepared for presidential campaign. Maybe I should... Work on improving DJ Nibble's policies. We'll work on improving your policies. I'm sure you have them, even if you don't know what they are. Like gun control. What's your opinion on gun control? <clears throat> I think it's hard to control a gun without opposable thumbs. <laughs> They're totally designed for humans. Best answer. Best answer. See? You're against gun control. That's a, that's a political policy. It is? Wow. I didn't know coming up with policies was that easy. Do all politicians come up with new policies after two seconds of thinking about it? Yes, they actually do. Some do. I'll come up with a list of important political topics we can go over them later. Maybe we'll turn that into a policy section on your website. Sounds good to me, but what is it? You mentioned guns. Reminds me. I have a special job for you. <laughs> what the fuck require using a gun? Oh no. A gun job? <laughs> a gun job. I don't want to know what that is. I'll remember his answer for the rest of my life. I need to defeat the zombie invasion! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that seems like something he would... In <laughs> which we fight an army of the undead and anyone else who gets in our way. Okay, wow, everyone other than DJ Nibbles sucks. The zombie invasion? Yes. In the last election, four million people voted in Miawa. What's wrong with that? There are only three million people living in Miawa. The other votes came from dead people. Zombies? Yes, I believe they are zombies. <laughs> Need to find a way for the stop for these dead people. Hey, that's that's Illinois. That's not Iowa. Anyway, we need to find a way to stop these dead people from voting. If they're voting for fancy fur ball or fancy fur balls, that is. If they vote for our party, then you should keep, <laughs> let them keep voting. R right. Is there some kind of anti-zombie organization that I can? Suddenly, a scream sounded from the hallway. That sounded like Lizzie. Is she a zombie? I burst in the hallway with DJ Nibbles close at my heels. Yes! Yes, I'd love to! That's good, you. Oh, something's... Something's off with this cat. That thousand-yard stare. I'm pretty sure that's edited. I don't think Cat's Eyes can even do that. Lizzie, is everything okay? It's better than okay! This cat just hired me as a campaign manager! Huh? My campaign has been... Lacking lately. She's gonna help fix it. Tap tap, Ina. Do you know this person? Yeah, it's my best friend, Lizzie. Your best friend? How could you work for him? Doesn't she know who he. Oh, right, that's. Your best friend? How could you work for him? Doesn't she know who he is? No, who is he? This is my new boss, Crusher. Wait, that's Crusher? DJ Nibble said Crusher was the number one rival in the campaign field. That Crusher would be a tough, hard-nosed cat, based on the name. See, in real life, he's kind of soft-spoken, underwhelming. He kept making awkward pauses in between his words. Nibbles. Your candidacy is... not good. You should concede to me, because I deserve to be... president. He's freaking William Shatner, cat! I kind of want to vote for him now. Give it to you? Never! Everyone else in my family was president. I should be president, too, you see. All I see is an old husband who's trying to kick me out of my rightful place. Whoa, let's not get personal, DJ Nibbles. Easy for you to say. Have you seen the attack ads he launched against my campaign? Those ads were true. You're just a foolish kitten. You'll break the government, but I'm gonna fix it. Spock! How dare you say that? I challenge you to do a duel. A political duel. Um, what? Instead of arguing out in the hall, we're to debate our issues on stage. Oh, good idea. We could set up a Crusher Nibbles debate in the hour next week. Right after I defeat the zombie invasion. Zombie invasion? It's a long story. I accept your challenge. And Nibbles, it doesn't matter that you have a supermodel working for you. You will still lose. Con! Supermodel? Me? I told you you got all guys think you're hot. It's so not fair. Ugh, well, we're having a debate now. Lizzie. I'll contact you and work out the details later. Lizzie and Crusher left together. I turned on DJ Nibbles. Phrasing. How could you do that? 
Do what? You challenged Crusher to a duel. That wasn't a very smart thing to do. I guess you're right. It's just he got me mad, so I figured I had to do something that made him look stupid. DJ Nibbles, this is why people think you're reckless and impulsive. I like how there's clearly like a very bright light on the left side of his photo. High, high quality <laughs> photography. I'm sorry. I'll try to work on my self control in the future. You must take impulse suppression pills. <laughs> Um, nah, let's be crazy. Good, that's all I'm saying. Do you think I should call off the duel? Nah, this debate actually might be a good thing. It can increase your exposure. Good, I'm a great debater. What do you think about the debate tonight? Um, we'll be honest. Your debate style can be a little work. What do you mean? Well, sometimes you trip over your words. I noticed you lost your place twice. That's not my fault. I just get so excited during debate. My brain doesn't keep up with my mouth. But hey, I'll work on that, like you recommended. So you've got the debate, the policy thing to work out, and the zombies. I think that's everything. Is there anything I forgot? Nope, just give me your contact information, I'll be good to go. My phone number is meow meow meow, meow meow, meow meow. Thank you. I went home after that. I did a little bit of research online, seeing how people react to DJ's Nibbles' performance of the debate. I also checked out the websites of the other candidates to get a sense of what things they were talking about. After that, I researched zombie voters. I was in the middle of that when my phone rang. <laughs> Typical candidate stylings here. I love how I just have like a political like propaganda tattooed and like it's a wall tattoo above my bed. And I have like, I don't know what this is, but it creeps me out. Hello? Hi, Tap Tap, Ina. It's me, Lizzie. Lizzie, I'm glad you called. I wanted to make sure everything was okay between us. Uh, I mean, I hope we could still be best friends, even though we're working on rival campaigns. Oh yeah, that doesn't bother me. I'd love to continue being your friend, only... Only what? Only I... Okay. Or I say what happened, you have to promise not to get mad at me. Lizzie, what did you do? Well, I booked a plane flight for me to go with Meow with Crusher tomorrow. And I remember that your ex-boyfriend is living here now. So I thought I would call him. You called Bill? Bill! You promised not to get mad, remember? I called him and he asked me out. You're dating my ex-boyfriend? It's just one date. I don't even like him that much. <laughs> Rude. And then we said how cute I was. I just, I don't know. I couldn't help myself. I had to say yes. Huh. This has to be a guess that gets the best friend rules. I know, I know. But nobody has asked me out in such a long time. I understand. Well, I guess I'm okay with it. Kind of. Not really. I don't know. It's been a year and a half since he broke up with me. But I feel kind of crappy about it. Bill and I broke up because he got accepted to a college in another state, and he didn't think he could handle a long-distance relationship. I can understand why he felt that way, but still. I think he could have at least tried a long-distance relationship instead of automatically breaking up, so I, I see romance is going to be a large part of this. If you want, I can call off the date. Oh, I don't want to boss you around just because I feel uncomfortable. Bill and I have been over for a long time now. I guess he's free to date whoever he wants. Thanks. I'm sure it won't be long if DJ Nibbles asks you out. What? He doesn't think of me in that way. That's not the way he's looking at you. He's totally into you. I think so. Mm -hmm. Is Lizzie right? Did DJ Nibbles have a crush on me? I mean, sure, I like him a lot. I never thought in that romantic way. Still, if he did have a crush on me, I'd learn about it sooner or later. So that impulsive can't hide something like that for very long. Alright, is this the next chapter? In which we explain the economy just like a proper grown-up would. I knew it, you like DJ Nibbles too. All right, we're gonna... How many, do we only get three slots? There's six slots? Wait, I don't know, you get six pages. All right. Um. This has been kind of funny. I think I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up. If, if people really want me to continue this and like, if I see like a bunch of comments about it or like thumbs up or whatever, um, I'll consider, consider continuing. But I think I'll leave it at this for now. I got a bunch of other stuff to record. Um, it's been, there's some funny stuff. Um, not sure I like with the whole. Like I'm sure even the relationship stuff is obviously you know for humor, but uh, it's been it's been alright. 